So I talked about this before back in the day. Uh, and I still stand by what I said back then. It was about three or four years ago and I said about it. Uh, and I still stand by it. That if you walk out and if you have a job and you walk out and you move up the ranks, obviously from walking out, for being there on time every day, for putting in your hours, putting in a mighty amount of effort and stuff and doing your job basically, doing it very well. You deserve to move up the ranks. If you're willing to put in the effort and the time, you deserve to eventually get up to the highest position in your organisation, in a, in, in a government department, in the civil service, in the public service. If you walk out and you're good at your job, you have every right and you should be promoted. If you're good at doing what you do, you should be promoted. Some of that. I know many good teachers I had in school who moved up to year heads and stuff like that. And many of them I know were hard workers and did walk out and did generally care about students. And that should have been the way. Regardless, and this is my next point, regardless of the black, Asian, no matter what colour or what race they are, no matter who they are, it doesn't matter. As long as you do your job well, you know, being a different nationality or being a different race or whatever should not impact, should not, and this is the thing, should not impact being promoted, as simple as that, or being up, put into a higher position in the civil service and stuff like that. Like particularly what Leo said, he wants people in uh, of different minorities to be put into the civil service and stuff like that. And that's all well and, say, uh, well, and, all well and good. But at the end of the day, it's by merit. The way I see it is, if you're willing to walk out and willing to put in the effort, no matter who you are, you know, you should be very, nobody should be above anybody. Everybody should be an equal playing field, no matter where who you where you're from, or anything like that. As simple as that. Everybody should start at the top. What Lee was trying to say is, people of uh, different backgrounds should be up in the highest offices in the country, but basically just been given it. That's what Leo wants to do. He wants to just give them, you know, force five class ticket to a person that's a na different nationality and just to hit their force quota. And that isn't right. That isn't right. They should start, it's the same in the council and stuff like that, local authority and stuff like that. You start off walking on the walls, lifting the bins or whatever. And you walk your way up, you walk hard, you walk, go in every morning at the right time, five days a week and you do hard work, you put in the hours and stuff like that. And you go above and beyond your, the means of your job. And eventually you will get promoted to an office job. And then promoted to uh, to another desk job, and then promoted them, promoted them, promoted. If you walk out and if you put loads of time and effort in, not because you're a different color or you're a different race and stuff like that, it shouldn't go by that. And if we go by that, if society goes like that, we would have people who doesn't want to do their jobs. There is people in the civil service that women, no matter what race they are, they're white or whatever, and they just don't care about doing the job. We've seen the different departments in government; they don't care. Simple as that. They don't care about doing the job. They just kind of sit there. Also, oh, and that's about it. Um, but it, as I say, I feel very passionate about this. That it it should be by merit. Like I wouldn't want something. To, I I might just tell you straight. I know people would say young people nowadays just what things handed to them and stuff like that. But I would say I I would much rather walk very hard for ten years, twenty years, as an only person sweeping rubbish on the wall or cleaning up rubbish right on the wall. What's that, what are doing at the moment? And do that for 20 years, and then after 20 years, they say, you know, you've done a good job in the last 20 years, we're going to promote you to a different different job or whatever, to a different part of the civil service, I'll take, for example. Because you've won. In that 20 years, you put in a lot of work and a lot of time over 20 years. And that's how you get up the rank. You know, that's the way it should be. Uh, obviously, I know people should say it wouldn't, it shouldn't take 20 years for you to promote it to a different level or something like that. Uh, and that's well and good, but again, you need to understand... The way I, if I was in the civil service, if I was a boss or anything like that in a company and stuff like that, it'd be the person who walks out, who really puts in his effort, puts a 100% effort in. And it's not even that, the person who just does his best, and that's the best thing about that. The person who does his best, and that's what I know, it's hard, it's hard to walk, it's hard to be there 40 hours a week, or even in some cases more hours a week in different jobs. It's, it's difficult, it's not easy, especially when you have a family, it's not easy, you have to recognise that, you can't be just like people have to be given 100% effort. You know, things happen in people's lives and personal lives and stuff like that. We have to understand that too. But uh, it's important, you know, obviously, that we get people who want to work, who are passionate about whatever job they're doing. If it's a teacher and they want to become a deputy principal or a principal or a year head or whatever the story may be over the year or a tutor for a class group or whatever it be, you know, you have to own it. Simple as that, you have to put in the time, you have to show that you care you have to show that you really have the t passion and the determination and the will to do things and to inspire people and to move people. You know, you have to have the will. You know, you have to have the will. But uh, as I say, 
we shouldn't be going by divorce quotas. It's simple as that. It, it, it's good that everybody's included, of course. But at the same time, you have to own it. You can't be just giving it. You know, that's as simple as that. The same as anything else. Now, I know what Leo was saying about TDs and stuff like that. that that's a different kettle fish. That's up to the people. Uh, it's up to the people to decide. No matter where you're from. If a person, if an electric, like take for example, Calvin Modern, if somebody of a different nationality or something like wants to go for a TD or a senator or whatever, or a council or whatever, it's it's up to the people. But again, as I say, it's not up to anybody else or society. Anyway. It's up to the people that put the ballot paper into the ballot box on a voting day. That's up to them to decide. It's up to the general public to decide. And I don't take the government... You know, it's up to the people again. No matter who you are, if you're good, if you're a good TD and do the best for your people, then of course it does all to be in all out. Simple as that. That's plain and simple. You shouldn't be given a full diversity quota. That's my that's my take. And it's the same if I went over to another country, uh, in Africa, or if I went to some country in Asia, in Japan, for example, and I said I'm entitled to, be at the top of this company in Japan because I'm, from Ireland and I'm, white. You know, and in in an Asian country. You know, I, I don't know what they would be too happy with that, you know. And there'd be other people walking there maybe 20 years, 40 years, more, maybe 60 years in some cases. And, you know, and then I just turn up and decide I want to get the top job because I'm a different nationality. It wouldn't be fair. That's what I'm saying. It's not fair on people. Just because I'm a different colour or a different race or whatever. Simple as that. And I know it's, it's a bit controversial, but at the end of the day, I'm sure everybody would agree. If you go out and walk hard and you do it for a long time or you put 100% effort into it, you deserve to get promoted, you know, and it shouldn't be given to somebody because they meet the right quotations of the government or company's uh, agenda. It's as that. That's the way society worked. That's the way years ago worked. You know, people who worked hard got up to the highest levels and they so rightly did. And as I say, even nowadays, I've seen teachers in, in, in my time at school and stuff like that, that did generally care, put in 100%, I've really, really cared for the students and for people. You know, I really did care. And, and there's one or two, and one became a deputy principal, thankfully. And maybe someday she will be principal. Uh, but it was really 100% effort she gave. Uh, and really, really nice and caring teacher. And done a lot for me, too, I will say. So, it, it without a doubt, you know, she deserved that that teacher. And then other teachers in the past got promoted the year ahead and stuff like that. Because they give the 100% effort. And they put in the time and the effort. And some of them would give up their lunch breaks to help teachers and stuff. To help... To help to help students out with topics and stuff like that. And that shows that you're committed. That shows that you're committed and willing to go the extra mile. And that's, that's at the end of the day, that's what matters. That you're willing to go the extra mile to help people, particularly in the civil service, in the public service. It's important that we have people that generally do care for the state, for the welfare of the Irish people, for the welfare of everybody in the country. It's important that we promote them people to the highest offices, in the civil service and the public service. Not for people to fill the first quotas. And as simple as that, I, I don't agree with it at the top. I totally have to say. As I say, people should walk the way from the bottom to the top. That's the way it should be. It's the same for hundreds and hundreds of years. Thank you.